In this lecture, let's dive a little deeper and look at the components of a business and how the business operates. This figure represents an overview of the business world. Note that owners, employees, and, in cust and customers are the main stakeholders, and they're located in the center of the figure. As you move outward, you will see the functions of the business organization, such as finance, marketing, management, then the external social and political environment in which the business operates. The external environment consists of competition, the economy, general economy, different kinds of technology, in particular information technology and how that is changing and operating, legal and political forces and social responsibility. All of these factors have an impact on the daily operations of the business. As you saw in the previous figure, management and employees are in the same segment of the circle. This is because management involves coordinating employees' actions to achieve an organization, a firm's goals, organizing people to work efficiently, and then motivating them to achieve the business goals. This, in sum, is what management is about, organizing people. But it's also concerned with acquiring and developing and using resources, including the people, human resources, and their interconnections, which is called social capital, human capital and social capital, using that and organizing that effectively and efficiently. Production and manufacturing is another element, the two together, the operations, is another element of business manager's plan. You have to organize and staff and control the tasks that are required to carry out all of this work in the company. These responsibilities are carried out by management in both profit and for profit, I mean, excuse me, for profit and non profit organizations. For profit, there's a clear motivation, which is driving profit. Nonprofit, generally, there's a service element associated with organizing all of this activity. Market is a very important function in the business. It's focused on understanding customer needs and satisfying them. Marketing includes all activities that are designed to provide those goods to the customers and services that satisfy the customer's needs and wants. Marketers gather information and conduct research to determine what customers are looking for, what they want, not only now, but in future product offerings. Using information gathered from marketing research, marketers plan and develop products and make decisions about how much to charge for their products and when and where to make them available to customers. They also analyze the market environment to see if products need to be modified, changed, or improved in some way. Marketers use promotion, that is advertising, personal selling, sales, coupons, games, sweepstakes, that sort of thing, movie tie-ins, and publicity to communicate the benefits and advantage, advantages of their products as they present them to consumers and in what is a way, as a means to increase sales. Sales can be increased in two ways. You could either sell more of a product or you can sell the same number of amount of product but with a greater price. Promotion can imp impact the unit sales, how many you sell, but also the price that you're able to achieve within the marketplace. Although management and marketing have to deal with financial concerns, considerations, how much they spend, their budgets and the like, it's the primary responsibility of the owners of the company, the shareholders and managers associated with that support to provide the financial resources for the operations of the business. Finance refers to all the activities concerned with obtaining money and using that money effectively, cost effectively within the organization. 
People who work there are often accountants. It could be stockbrokers who are investing money, investment advisors, and bankers. They're all part of what's called the financial world or the financial services industry. Uh, but they're supporting a particular organization or customer. Owners sometimes borrow money to get their get started with the business. They do that from bankers or potentially in private investors, or they might at attract them as partners or as stockholders of the company. Now that we know the basics of business, in the next lecture, lecture we'll talk briefly about why we want to study business and how it works, how it can help us as citizens and potentially help us understand the kinds of jobs that we might want to get. Let's talk briefly about why we study business. We have seen the various functions and aspect of a business. It's important to ask why it's important for us as students to understand business. Why do we study business? What's, what, can, what can an understanding or a better understanding of the business environment do to help us? In particular, why is it important to understand how business and society interact with one another? Studying business can help develop certain skills about how to operate, how to work within the economy, and acquire knowledge that might prepare us for a future career, for example. And this is regardless of whether you end up working for a multinational Fortune 500 firm, start your own business, work for a government agency, manage or be a volunteer for a nonprofit. Business drives economic activity. So like it or not, it's important to understand how it operates. The economy in general provides the flow or manages the flow of economic resources. These are done through business. So understanding how that all works is important. The field of business offers a variety of challenging and interesting opportunities for careers. This is in the US throughout the world, such as marketing, human resource management, information technology, finance, production, operations, wholesaling and retailing, purchasing, many and many other business opportunities. Studying business can also help better understand how many of the business activities that are necessary to support commerce, transportation, all of the various services that we expect within our economic and political environment. Each and every one of these activities carries a price. It costs money to deliver it. How does one allocate resources to these things? That's the question that we are studying when we study a business course, particularly one that talks about business and its interaction with society. Studying business can help us understand and become well-informed consumers and can become contributing members of society. Business activities generate profits that are essential not only to the businesses themselves and the local economies in which they operate, but also to the health of the national and global economy. Understanding how our particular free enterprise economic system works and how it allocates resources and provides incentives for industry and for the workplace is really important for everyone. This is an example of how one individual entrepreneur developed over time and how that supports the economy, not just the business economy, not just the business environment, but also the social environment. Look at Bill Daniels. He founded Cablevision. It was the first cable TV system started in Casper, Wyoming in 1953. It's now con he's now considered to be one of the fathers of the cable television industry. Prior to Daniels, before he died, but prior, prior to he, when he died in 2000, he not only he not only started the company and built up Cablevision, but he also established a a fund, a, a, a foundation of 1.1 billion dollars that supports a diversity of causes from education to business ethics. During his career. He created the Young Americans Bank, where children could create bank accounts and learn about financial responsibility. This remains one of the world's only chartered banks for young people. They also created the Daniels College of Business through a donation of $20 million to the University of Denver. During his life, 
He affected many people and organizations beyond his business context, but also within his philanthropy. Uh, he left a legacy of giving and impacting communities throughout the United States. Business and those who participate in it. Um, another example we see now is Bill Gates making uh, investments in healthcare and other areas around the world. Uh, no matter, those who participate in it can have a tremendous impact on society. In the next lecture, we'll begin to explore the importance of economics as the foundation for business, how some general concepts about economics and how it works. So it explains how we develop resources and utilize resources across our national economy and in fact the global economy. It's important not only for business, but it out, act, a better understanding will help us understand how we can achieve greater prosperity in general.